200 years ago, this man, Joseph Lancaster, was a household name in this country and around the world. So why is he now forgotten? When you come along to Joseph Lancaster's educational revolution at the British Schools Museum, you'll be amazed, you'll be inspired by this incredible man's achievements, and you'll wonder why he's not still a household name today. Lancaster was only a poor child himself, but he became known as the poor child's friend. At a time when most children went out to work from the age of six or seven, he thought that all children should have an education. Because he didn't have very much money, Lancaster had to come up with some really clever ideas for all the children who wanted to come to his schools. One of the greatest ideas was the creation of monitorial schoolrooms where hundreds of children could be taught in one space by one master. So, why are we telling Lancaster's incredible story here in Hitchin? Well, of all the great monitorial schoolrooms built in Britain and around the world, this is the only one to remain a remarkable survivor and the only place in the world where Lancaster's educational revolution can be experienced in an authentic environment. There is a place for everything and everything in its place. Sling caps. Lancaster's innovation was the monitorial teaching method. One teacher in one schoolroom could teach hundreds of children. The brightest child from each group was made a monitor. The youngest children learned the characters of the alphabet by copying them using their forefingers in a tray of sand. Children only came to school for an average of about six months. They learned reading, writing and arithmetic. But Lancaster's system was very effective. How about trying some of this arithmetic? Lancaster hated the idea of children being beaten in school. Instead, toys were given as rewards for good behaviour and good attendance. No wonder children ran joyfully to go to his schools. This exhibition, Joseph Lancaster's Educational Revolution, has been made possible by a major grant from the Association of Independent Museums through the Biffa Award Scheme. A couple of years ago, they agreed with us that Lancaster's story was inspirational and worth telling and they've included him in a group of history makers, people who have shaped the world we live in today. The funding has enabled us to do some remarkable things here. Tell the story in lots and lots of different ways. We've gone, for us, pretty high tech with interactive screens and videos, but they've all been created in a way which is sympathetic to this unique schoolroom. Here at the British Schools Museum we have an amazing volunteer team and this has enabled us to add huge value to the project. From within our ranks we've had actors, painters, researchers, carpenters, so much of what you'll see at the exhibition is the product of the wonderful volunteer team here at the British Schools. Good day to you. 14th of August 1838, Mexico City. My name is George Thomas Cooper. I was born in London in 1860. My name is Matthew Arnold. I'm one of Her Majesty's Inspectors of Schools. Today I am retiring, having been Master of the Boys' British School in Hitchin for 45 years. This museum is sometimes described as a hidden gem. We don't want to be a hidden gem. We want everybody to come along and discover the truly inspirational story of the poor child's friend.